Hello Floss Tube. It's been a while since my last video. Um, my name is Claire um, and this is Crafty Creative Claire and welcome to my uh, channel if you haven't seen any of my videos before and if you have then welcome back and thank you very much for being patient. Um, I've discovered over the last couple of years that I don't do very well at committing to do anything at all over the summer. Um, what with school holidays and going away and things like that all the best laid plans just get thrown out the window so I meant to come back and do a video a couple of weeks after my last one didn't happen college work kind of all spiralled towards the end of the academic year and then we were on holidays so nope everything else just kind of got thrown out the window um, so I hardly even did any stitching at all over August, apart from when I was on holiday and did the one that I took with me, which I shall show you soon. So yeah, it's been a while, a few months since my last video. So um, thank you for sticking with me. Um, I have been watching um, quite a few people's floss tube videos, so I'm really excited to meet up with a few people again in October next month for the Milton Keeds stitching retreat so and I'll get to meet Stitch M for the first time and lots of my other retreat buddies so looking forward to that um what else what else what else what has been going on over the summer oh I'm into my second year of counselling training now and on Tuesday this week I went into a local primary school for the first time as a school counsellor well, I haven't seen any kiddies yet, but I have my induction to the school. So every Tuesday I shall be going into a local school um, and getting you know, experience and trained in play therapy in the school context. So, yeah, I think learning a whole new um, profession is an interesting thing to do at at my time of life as though I'm old <laughs> um, but you know what I mean it's kind of it's an interesting at this point to to kind of go sideways slightly career wise and um, so I'm really really enjoying it but that does mean there is less time for stitching than I would necessarily like but you know oh and thank you so much for all the comments about my tooth, wishing me well for my tooth abscess that I had in the last video that I made. Um, it's so much better, so much better than it was. I still get twinges every now and again, so I think I'm going to go back to the dentist, but she hasn't had to pull it out. So, good, because that's not nice. Um, and also thank you for all the comments about my big old rant about Ter Teresa Wentzler and her dragon patterns. It was very heartfelt, as I'm sure that you all noticed. Um, and I think that it struck a chord with quite a few of you. Um, so thank you for your comments. And we shall move on from there for now. Right. I'm just kind of doing everything backwards at the moment because you guys have waited long enough for the result of my giveaways. About like three million of you um, wanted, slight exaggeration, uh, wanted this beautiful lady Poppy by Nora Corbett so I shall put you all out of your misery so if you're just watching to find out whether you got Poppy then you can turn off after this um, so giveaways there were three in my last video and the first one was Poppy by Nora Corbett and the winner for Poppy was drumroll Sorry if that hurt your head. Um, CLU cross stitching, the lovely Charlotte. You win Poppy. And um, if you can let me have your address, I don't think I have your address already. Um, I'll message you anyway and um, I can pop this in the post to you. Okay. The second giveaway was Owls. Christmas Owls. And Country Cross Stitcher, you are going to get the owls. So if you can message me your address. And the 
third giveaway last time was Country Cats, Marmalade, no, not Country Cats, Marmalade Cats, which is really cute. And Debbie Stevens, you have got the Marmalade Cats. So again, let me have your address and I shall pop that in the post to you. Giveaways this time. There will be three, but the third one will come up in a few minutes. So, the first one is Caravan of Love. It's a magazine chart. That's quite cute. Nice colours. It's a bit like spring and summery and we're heading into autumn, but hey, who needs to be seasonal, you know? So Caravan of Love. If you would like to stitch this, say I would like to stitch the caravan and you will be entered into that. Please, um, as with all giveaways, do not mention the word giveaway in your comment or free, uh, anything freebie, anything that could get the trolls interested. Um, and please be sure that you are over 18 or that your parents give you permission to let me have your address if you win. I will send to anywhere in the world, so don't worry about that. The second giveaway is an Emma Congdon design that was in a Cross Stitcher magazine in 2015 and it's the vintage sewing machine. So if you are a fan of Emma Congdon, and who isn't, um, if you wish to try and get this one just put I would like to stitch the sewing machine in the comments and your name will be entered. The third giveaway, like I say, we'll get to that. Right, happy mail. I have been such a lucky girl over the summer and I have received some wonderful, wonderful things. So firstly, Stitch M sent me, uh -huh, it's got a note over the top of it, let me just take the note off, sent me the Spring Fairy by Teresa Wentzler, which was one that I didn't have. So she sent me it. How lovely. I love the fairies. They're so intricate. Look at her skirt. Or are they kind of it almost looks like they're trousers. They could they could be trousers. With all leaves and feathers feathers and stuff. So I like that one. So thank you very much, um, Emma. I shall meet you in October and she also included some beautiful dyed linen it's just an offcut so that I can use it in all the ATCs that I do very thoughtful so thoughtful thank you so much so I am I'm a lucky girl with that one and then a couple of swaps came in I have finished a couple of swaps and sent them out in in between Although I didn't sign up for any swaps over August because I knew that I wouldn't get a chance to do them. So this is the summer swap, which is, I think was July for Cross Stitch Cards and ATCs, the group that I co-admin with Sarah Shears and Adele McNaughton on Facebook. And the summer one was when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And that was made for me by Danny. I love it. it. I love just love the summery colours and the lemons. And she also sent me a delightful deer kit, a funky postcard, and some summery stickers. I love stickers. So that was really generous and kind. So thank you, Danny. And then I got from the lovely Sarah, lovely Sarah Shears over in Canada. Oh my word, what a lovely packet of goodies I got. She uh, stitched me the animal card, which was June, I think, for the Cross Stitch Cards and ATCs group. She knows me so well. <laughs> she stitched me a dragon. Look at that dragon. It's fabulous. And I think I'm just going to frame this as a picture because I love it. And I love the vintage -y kind of imagery that she's used to put it with as well. So, she's a talented lady, is that Sarah? In many ways. 
not only did I get the card, um, we swapped Riolis kits. So she sent me this serving wench, which she got from Riolis. And I would sent her um, a Greek scene. Um, and they're full kits that we've swapped. And the reason that we have them is that Riolis sent them to us to do reviews on. So at some point, and we have all the Ada. Oh, it's 18 count. No, it's 14 count. So I should probably swap that out for something a bit smaller. Um, all of the threads. And a full colour pattern, which obviously I'm not going to show you too much of. Um, but yeah, we swapped because we both preferred the image that the other person had. So that came to me. And then she sent me Dragons of the Deep, which is such a fab pattern. I love that. I'm definitely going to stitch that. And anyone would think I like dragons, you know, what's that about? Another dragony one here. Danny the Stitching Dragon. I prefer that one. But he's still quite cute, isn't he? Um, she sent me a few art journaly bits, which I won't bother showing you because stitching. And... This, it's almost like a round robin, this piece. It's Reflections of Paris by Ink Circles. And it's a whip. And it's got this much done on it. Sarah, did you do any stitching on this? This started out life with Brian, or Brinna, as she now is known. Um, she has been doing floss tube, or he has been doing, I, d ah! <laughs> they are doing floss tube for a long time and they started this piece and it is, um, beautiful and I love it. And Sarah said that she was getting nowhere with it and would I like to take it on? So, um, yes, please. And I love Paris. So that's where it is at the moment. And I have thread. So this will be joining whips at some point. I'm not counting as a whip, as a whip yet because I haven't put a single stitch in. So um, I will count it as a new start at some point from when I decide to start stitching it. So I'm the third floss tuber it comes to so you never know could send it on again anyway there's that so all of that was from the lovely Sarah thank you um but it doesn't stop there don't throw things at the screen I know you hate me because I'm so fortunate after my rant my Teresa Wentzler love um, a lovely, lovely lady, and I won't give you her full name because I don't have her permission, but um, she's called Elizabeth and she knows who she is, contacted me and said that she had some uh, Teresa Wentzler things to send me and would I like them so that I could give them away or keep them if I wanted. And I said, yeah, who wouldn't? Oh my goodness. Okay, first she sent the diamonds and squares pattern, which I don't have and I love. So I'm, I'm keeping this one for me, okay? And then she sent both fantasy collection books. These are A, worth quite a bit of money, B, cost a fortune to send here from the States, and C, are definitely definitely going to get really rather rare rather quickly rarer than they already are because of all the dragons which are no longer available the freebies are still up if you go and look for them by the way 
but you have to search for them individually you can't get to them from the web page so anyway fantasy collection one fantasy collection two I already have these <laughs> of course um, and so both of these are going to be given away um, not both out at once I cannot afford the postage <laughs> um, so this one is going to go away for a bit and will come out in a few weeks time but this one is going to be giveaway number three this week and I don't know if you can see on the back it's so it's got the castle which you can see up there the bottom of which was the first cross stitch I ever did at the age of 14 ish let me show you some pictures what else is in here we've got uh, Rapunzel beautiful hair we have day and night we have magical night which somebody on the Teresa Wentzler um, Facebook page has just finished stitching and it looks incredible The carousel. The castle sampler, which I just which I just finished. I finished a couple of years ago. Fabulous stitch. Cinderella. I think it's called Stroke of Midnight, that one. The castle one. And um green holy mother of leaves backstitched forever i don't think i would ever dare stitch this look at all the backstitch looks stunning when it's done though oh oh another one unicorn another leafy one but look at that i think that's it yes so if you want this i don't if you don't, why not? Say I would like to stitch the Teresa Wentzler patterns or something along those lines. And I will post this to anywhere in the world. And then, and then I'll save up and do the other one. So there you go. Whew. I have, the reason I might be looking down, my screen is flashing a time at me. So I, th I think that it's going to stop recording at 27 minutes so I've got nine minutes left this might have to be in two parts okay whips finishes finishes I will speed up see if I can beat the camera okay these are going to be uh, ATCs so the fashion ATC this month is going to have that one on it it's a funky little boot and there's a princesses and pirates ATC for cross stitch ATCs on Instagram and I have done a princess so they are going to be made into ATCs and sent posted off tomorrow I imagine I think I've got all lots of other bits to put in now my dragon celestial companions you haven't done anything I can hear you say <laughs> uh, yeah it doesn't look like much I've done more down here, I've done more across here, and I've done more of this stuff. I am, it doesn't look much like it, but I'm closing in on the page finish. I'm just, I'm not a Jessie Marie speedy um, hay stitcher. I'm like the patron saint of slow stitches. It's all good. Um, another one I've done, but I think I've left the picture for it downstairs. But this is my Venus Dryad. And I stitched on this one a little bit in August. But because it was August, I didn't get much done. So that's where she's at at the moment. Ink circles. Ah, before I show you this, 
There's another reason why I haven't made much progress on so much stuff is that ink circles have a new design coming out after Christmas or at some point in the new year and the call went out for beta stitches. I got accepted. So I've been stitching like crazy and I will be stitching like crazy on this new ink circles piece until at least Christmas and I can't show it so sorry but I will show you proudly um, when I'm allowed when the piece is released and I can show it there's about 20 of us all stitching it and it, don't know how much I can say it, it comes out differently depend for everybody I think that's safe to say because I think that was it said in her announcement looking for stitches it come it will come out differently for every person that stitches it so it's really exciting uh, to be a part of so yay so not much progress on anything else I'll have really boring videos um, for the rest of the year so little lady and school girl also by ink circles love it love it I have done jars in heads no heads in jars yes heads in jars and an animal buffalo bison thing guarding the gate of life which apparently that is what that is and some fruit in a basket Guarded by Princess Leia. Ah. I love the colours. I can, oh, love it. And then, because I was kind of feeling the dragons, I did some more on my Guardian. Um, slowly working my way across the top border. And then came down here and started this wing up here and did more sky as well. I kind of alternate and do one thread of border, one thread of sky, one thread of dragon. Um, yeah, it's coming along. Then, this beauty, Tiger Lily by Nora Corbett. The colors, oh, the colors, so gorgeous. I'm taking this one to the Milton Keynes retreat and I will be working on it there. Love, love, love her. And then when I was on holiday, we went to Devon for a week, stayed in a static caravan for the first time, which is a step up from a tent, let me tell you. Um, I worked a, quite a bit on Olivia Oakleaf, which I am stitching as a stitch along with some retreat ladies. And that's how far I got. So... All that's left is the bottom bit, really. So that should be done. Well, if I if I decide to pull it back out again, I'll finish it at retreat if I haven't finished it before. So that's that one. And that's all my stitching whips. Uh, quite a few, and then yet another giant rainbow baby blanket square which is finished apart from tying off a few of these loose ends. The baby has been born. The parents have seen this, but it has been so hot that they've not cared that it's not ready. But they're coming for dinner in two weeks. So it will definitely be ready to hand over then. So there's that. And then just a few little bits of haul. I picked up Earth Dragon sorry for the glare, um, it's a full kit, I picked it up for under a tenner from eBay and I think it's a, quite an old looking pattern, an old kit, but I still like it, I, I love, love the head on it, head on that dragon and you know, dragon, so, <laughs> um, what else did I get, a bit of an ink circles kick, bad neighbourhoods, so we have Miracle Grow, Swimming hole, water hazard, what lies beneath, troubled water, oh yeah that's it. There is another one but I already have that one, but upstairs downstairs which shows a drummer upstairs and a nice reading nook underneath. I love that because I love to read and my husband's a drummer. 
Um, so yeah, I got all of these from um, Marnie's Mixed Bag, Sarah Marnie. She is my Ink Circles dealer. Oh yeah, better than crap. And then the last two things I got were the Merfolk's Eden by Plum Street Samplers and a bowl full of scaries also by Plum Street and I think there's a few of us starting this at the Milton Keynes retreat. So that's it. Oh, I think I've beaten the clock. Um, so yeah, that was all my haul. Oh, and I got a Lowry. It arrived yesterday. It's an early Christmas present and I am so excited. <laughs> I need to learn to stitch two-handed because I'm so used to holding the hoop and stitching. So it's a whole new way of stitching for me, but I'm so excited. So after this uploads, I'm going to go and stitch, even though I should be working. Right, um, I'm running out of time. It's flashing at me. It's very off-putting. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to enter for any of the three um, giveaways, put your comment below. Any other comments, questions, put them in. I'm sure there's stuff I've forgotten to say, but hopefully next time, and it won't be hopefully quite so long between my videos this time. Have a, a great week and happy stitching. <laughs>